Good morning everyone and welcome to this worship video. Uh, I hope that you're all keeping well and continuing to keep safe at the moment. And isn't it great that more and more restrictions are currently getting lifted and that we can begin again to worship in church as well, and not just online like this. We're all well over here in Wales and I hope that you and your family are keeping well too. In today's worship video, we're going to read from Exodus, and if you want to find that in your Bibles, it's Exodus chapter 3, verses 1 to 15. And the two hymns we're going to use are Lord for the Years and Will You Come and Follow Me. So let's begin our worship this morning and join Andy in our first hymn, Lord for the Years. <laughs> weekday worship cards let us begin with our bible verse seek the lord while he may be found call upon him while he is near please join with me as we say O oh god lead us from death to life from falsehood to truth lead us from despair to hope from fear to trust lead us from hate to love from war to peace. Let peace fill our hearts, our world and our universe. We ask it for your own name's sake. Amen. O oh, be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with the song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is gracious. His steadfast love is everlasting. 
and his faithfulness endures from generation to generation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. So our reading this morning is Exodus chapter 3, verses 1 to 15. Moses and the burning bush. Now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the far side of the desert and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush. Moses saw that though the bush was on fire, it did not burn up. So Moses thought, I will go over and see this strange sight, why the bush does not burn up. When the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, God called to him from within the bush, Moses, Moses. And Moses said, Here I am. Do not come any closer, God said. Take off your sandals, for the place where you are standing is holy ground. Then he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. At this Moses hid his face, because he was afraid to look at God. The Lord said, I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt. I have heard them crying out because of their slave drivers, and I am concerned about their suffering. So I have come down to rescue them from the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land into a good and spacious land, a land flowing with milk and honey. The home of the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Hivites and Jebusites. And now the cry of the Israelites has reached me and I have seen the way the Egyptians are oppressing them. So now go, I am sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Egypt and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? And God said, I will be with you. And this will be the sign to you that it is I who have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this mountain. Moses said to God, Suppose I go to the Israelites and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they ask me, What is his name? Then what shall I tell them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. God also said to Moses, say to the Israelites, the Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever, the name by which I am to be remembered from generation to generation. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So this morning, I'd like us to have a think together about the last time when we called someone. Perhaps we phoned to check that they were okay. It could have been for a chat or perhaps a catch up. It might have been a call for help. You might have needed something or you needed help. Recently, I needed to do just that. Ellie, Remain, Joshua and I were going camping. Amidst all of the packing of tents, poles, we remembered that we needed somebody to check on and feed our pets whilst we were away. Thankfully, we have a very kind neighbour and she agreed to look after Ginger the rabbit and Connor the hamster for us Phew, what a relief for that. 
Anne was a great help. We called on her to help us out and she answered. In our Bible reading that we've just heard from Exodus this morning, we hear how God spoke to Moses and called him from within the burning bush. Let us now look again at this passage and consider how it can be realised in our lives too. I feel that there are three main points to consider here. The call itself, the response from Moses and the reassurance that God provides too. So firstly, the call. God spoke directly and personally to Moses. He didn't mean or want anyone else. God was calling him. He was the one who was needed for the task. And the call was hard to ignore. The bush was on fire, but it wasn't burning. I wonder what Moses would have thought. It's not normal, perhaps. I need to get closer and have a proper look. How can a bush be on fire and not burn up? It would have been spectacular to witness, but God's call and mission for Moses was equally awesome. He needed to leave the city of Midian, head back, he needed to leave, sorry, the safety of Midian, head back into Egypt, face Pharaoh, and then demand that the Israelites were to be released. They were no longer to be punished and downtrodden slaves to Pharaoh, but they were to be released and led to the promised land as free people. I'd like you to think this morning about a time when God has called you to do something. It could have been to help a neighbour in need or support a colleague at work. Perhaps you were called to help out in church or support a local project. It could have been your own calling for your own confirmation. Whatever you were called to do, God called you personally. He wanted and he still wants you. From my own experiences, I know that God will be persistent with his calling on you. He won't allow you to ignore it and to leave it alone. Remember, God's call is personal and direct to each and every one of us. Secondly, comes the response. Moses responded, here I am when he heard God's call. He took off his sandals when he realised that he was standing in a holy place. He was initially scared to look at God. Following this, we hear about Moses' doubts and feelings of unworthiness to being called by God. Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt, he said. Moses doesn't ignore God, but he doesn't seem to be jumping for joy at this either. When we are called by God, we too can share Moses' feelings of doubt and unworthiness. Who? Me? You want me? Are you sure? But we need to try and be open. We need to try and be responsive to God's call, willing to listen to him and to trust him. So we need to listen carefully to what we're being called to do and then respond to that call. Then thirdly comes reassurance. Moses knew that he was in a holy place as he spoke to God but he still had doubts about what he was being called to do. God had given him a vital role to bring about the eventual release of the Israelites from their captivity. Moses was worried, but God replied, I will be with you. And he was. Even when Moses struggled to find the words to say, God told him to tell the Israelites that I am has sent me to you and that the Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob 
has sent me to you. Moses needed to hear these words of reassurance. God had given answers to his questions and calmed his fears. Just as God reassured Moses, he will do the same to us too. This morning, we meet God, not in the burning bush, but in the beauty of creation and in the silence of our own hearts. Perhaps a lit candle like the ones behind me help you to sense God's presence. You might get a strange feeling around you. For me personally, I get a touch on my back. I feel a touch on my back and my shoulder, a reassurance that God is near and present. And it reminds me that he is with me and that together I'm able to do what he has called me to do. So this morning we've considered and explored the thought of being called by God. By reflecting on Moses' experience when he met God in the burning bush. When God calls us, it is direct and personal. It requires us to respond openly and freely and we can feel reassured that he will be with us in each and every step as we move forward on our journey of faith. Let us pray. Father God, thank you for calling us all to follow you. Help us to keep hearing your call in our lives as you guide and direct us along our journey of faith. Amen. Let us now continue in prayer as we pray to God our Father. Lord God, we thank you for the world. We thank you for your wonderful creation. We pray for those who have been affected by Hurricane Laura in the Caribbean and the US. We pray for rescue teams as they continue to help and support those in need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you for the continuing progress which is being made against COVID-19. We give thanks for the Isle of Man who celebrated a hundred days of no new cases on Friday and that milestone that they've reached. We pray for scientists in their research, searching after a vaccine. We pray for doctors, nurses and carers as they continue to care and support those who are ill. We pray for schools preparing to open this week and offices and workplaces as they begin to become more active again following lockdown. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, we pray for your church. Help it to be a light in the darkness and may it spread hope where there is despair. Help all congregations ministers, bishops and archbishops to recall, to respond to your call so that the church may truly become and be your body here on earth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, we thank you for continuing to call us along our journey of faith. We give you thanks for all the, all the gifts that you give to us and we pray that you will be with us on each and every step we take with you. In a few moments of peace, let us make our own personal prayers to God our Father. Merciful Father, accept these prayers 
for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Turning back to our service cards, let us say the collect together. Generous God, you give us gifts and make them grow. Though our faith is small as mustard seed, make it grow to your glory and the flourishing of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May we say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our, our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. So in conclusion, let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your holy word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light to our paths and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So let us serve God with all our heart, with all our soul and with all our strength. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning in this online worship video. I really hope that you have a lovely week and I pray that you will continue to hear God's continuing call in your lives as he leads you onwards each and every day. So let us go back and join in with Andy as we sing our final hymn this morning. Will you come and follow me? Take care. Bye bye. Will you come and follow me if I but call your name? Will you go where you don't know and never be the same? Will you let my love be shown? Will you let my name be known? Will you let my life be grown in you and you in me? Will you leave yourself behind if I but call your name? Will you care for cruel and kind and never be the same? Will you risk the hostile stare, should your life attract or scare? Will you let me answer prayer in you and you in me? Will you let the blinded see if I but call your name? Will you set the prisoner free and never be the same? Will you kiss the leper clean and do such as this unseen and admit to what I mean in you and you in me? Will you love the you you hide if I would call your name? Will you quell the fear inside and never be the same? Will you use the faith you found and shape the world around? Through my sight and touch and sound in you and you in me. Lord, your summons echoes true when you would call my name. Let me turn and follow you and never be the same. In your company I'll go, where your love and footsteps show. Thus I'll move and live and grow in you and you in me.